Jesus can break your addiction. A Bible lesson. I cannot change. This is stronger than I am. I could not live without it. I want it more than anything else. I tried to stop, but I could not. I went through rehab, but here I am doing it again. I only do this on weekends. This has costed me everything I had. There is nothing I can do about it. Some addictions revolve around alcohol, drugs, fame, food, gambling, gaming, porn, power, sex, sugar, wealth. About 700 BCE, the prophet Isaiah foretold, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, an opening of the prison to those who are bound. About 30 CE, Jesus the Messiah proclaimed, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Jesus explained, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Truly, truly I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. Yet if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. About 55 CE, the Apostle Paul wrote, Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Thus our Creator provides two powerful means by which He breaks addictions. 1. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and 2. The Spirit of our God. 1. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The New Testament of the Holy Bible teaches that Jesus Christ is God himself come into the world as a human being. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Our addictions make us slaves of the devil. This condition is called sin. When Jesus died on his cross, he took our sins upon himself. Jesus' death broke the devil's power over us. When Jesus came back to life, he showed that he is the Lord who has won victory over the devil. 2. The Spirit of our God Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When we get baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive God's Holy Spirit as a free gift. Then we have all the power of God to walk in Jesus' victory over our addictions. Neither willpower nor good deeds nor good intentions can break an addiction. 
calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and being filled with God's Spirit can break our addictions and keep us free. Seven Steps to Have Jesus Break Your Addictions 1. Turn from your former beliefs and put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. 2. Believe that Jesus died because of your sins and has risen back to life. 3. Call out to him with your voice to save you from Satan, from sin, and from your addiction. 4. Ask some Christians to baptize you with water, praying for you to receive God's Holy Spirit. 5. Whenever you feel a desire for your addiction, speak to Jesus, asking him to fill you again with God's Holy Spirit. 6. Stay away from persons and places that practice your addiction until you become strong. 7. Gather often with other addicts who have faith in Jesus, praying together to God to keep you free. What fruit were you getting from the things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end, eternal life.